The Vodafone Pug is one of our most loved brand icons that we have uh, in Vodafone's proud history of communication. And consumers across India uh, associate with the Pug and really, really love the Vodafone Pug. Uh, it's not only an icon for us in Vodafone, but indeed it's a big and much loved advertising icon across industries, across brands. Given the fact that the marketing task of the Pug is to announce uh, the fact that we have Vodafone SuperNet 4G, uh, we want to do it in the most impactful manner and reach a large proportion of consumers across India. And therefore, we thought that this was possibly the right time for us to evaluate bringing back the Pug. The key media touch points, therefore, would be uh, television to begin with, a large part of digital. Uh, there's a huge amount of activity on ground in terms of point of sale and retail touch points and lots of activation that our consumers will see across the coming weeks. Uh, we're doing it creatively, we're doing it interestingly, we've learned along the way from the time that last Chica was there. Um, I'll give you an example. We recently are running a campaign on Twitter which is asking consumers, where do you think the pug and the boy will go next? Uh, will they go to a city? Will they go to a village? Will they go overseas? Will they go to a moon? And consumers have really loved the idea and we've got lots and lots of consumer engagement going. So that just a small example of what are all the creative options that open up uh, for us when we bring back Chica the pug and the boy. So Vodafone SuperNet 4G is essentially our way of announcing the fact that we have a superior network um, because we have invested a lot in terms of our network capabilities, whether it's cell phone towers or whether it's sites. Uh, and so therefore we have a significantly enhanced network. We wanted to announce uh, this to our consumers uh, using uh, the name of Vodafone SuperNet 4G which implies the fact that it is a network which would give you uh, a bouquet of benefits which really, really make a positive impact in consumers' lives. So we are talking about the network and therefore for people who are on, let's say, 3G, uh, they will experience the benefit of a significantly better network. So that's to begin with. For 4G, um, as you know, in order to get onto 4G, you need to physically change your SIM. And it's actually a very, very simple and a painless process. Um, so that's happening as we speak. Um, and therefore, to get onto 4G, changing your SIM and experiencing uh, the absolute delight uh, that you get with uh, a superior network. I think it is about really utilizing our much loved brand assets. It would be a shame if we don't figure out what our consumers are telling us. And I think that's the essence of good marketing. It's not so much about the past or the present or the future. It's really about understanding what consumers like, what consumers love, and how best can we offer them products and services using communication that both delights and surprises them. So if you look at all the stuff that we have done with Zuzus and Zoomies for our My Vodafone app campaign, that has delighted our consumers and driven downloads for us. If you look at what we have done with uh, Chica the Pug and the Boy, that surprised consumers in a very, very pleasant and delicious manner. And that's really, you know, the marketing task at hand. That how do we really communicate our messaging, but do it in the Vodafone way, which is fun, simple and delightful. Vodafone Zuzus and uh, the Vodafone Pug have their own unique place in consumers' hearts. Uh, I don't want to compare it with anybody else, but uh, suffice to say that I'm very, very proud of uh, the work that has been done uh, for these icons of Vodafone, both the Zuzus as well as the Pug. And therefore, we will continue to use them strategically as and when the marketing task really needs us to. It's too early for us to start talking numbers in this space, uh, but we've started our journey in December and now we are in March, so literally it's about three months, so a quarter uh, literally that's happened. 
we've seen a strong uptake uh, by consumers, especially in the larger cities, uh, to take up 4G. But like I always say, India is a leapfrog economy. Don't be surprised if consumers move very fast at one end. And equally, we feel that there are lots of consumers who are coming into the 3G fold as well. And so therefore, the market and the consumer landscape is truly dynamic and truly exciting. I think I wouldn't like to comment on that in particular, but if you were to uh, look at what I just said a couple of minutes back, there's a significant amount of investment that we have made in terms of our network enhancement uh, that is really now delighting consumers across the country.